All right, I'm shooting these intros. I'm just firing them off back to back. All right, this intro is gonna be for the DJI Action 3 and the Action 4 low light testing, okay? Um, they're gonna just be kind of side by side in this video. I just want you guys to see how they look. Um, I'm focusing on low light testing because daylight testing, they're all good cameras. And I'm talking about all the GoPros, all the DJI cameras, they give you good footage for daylight. I mean, unless you, I don't know what you need these cameras for. Like you do a professional videos, you know? Um, I think most of us, like myself right now, I am using my cell phone to record this video, but I could have been using a GoPro easy, no problem. Even in this low light scenario with this big old ring light that I'm using. Um, the GoPro, the DJI Action 3 would be totally fine for this and you get good quality. You don't, you know, it's just it's just good to go. Now, the recording modes, the settings that I have on the cameras will be in the footage as you watch this video so you can see what type of settings I was using when I did it. I was using manual settings for the most part anyways because um, you can kind of manipulate the brightness a little bit. Um, that's, I think that's all I got for now. <clears throat> If you guys are interested, for example, in getting one of them electric scooters, them hyper scooters or super scooters, I got my boy Paul at Voltage Motor Works. I got his little stuff in the description below so you guys can check out the links. If you have any questions, you can ask me or ask him. Um, he can point you in the right direction. This is not a, hey, if you call me, I'm expecting you to buy type of thing. You can ask questions if you want. He's totally fine with being just an advisor. Um, fast shipping, really, really cool guy. Tell him that Jay on the Segway sent you, all right? I talk to him kind of like frequently, so he knows who I am. Probably watching this video right now. Anyways, um, watch the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below as you watch it, and um, see, you in the e see you in the end. That looks like a pretty cool place. And so these action cameras, especially because they're so low maintenance, you know, the batteries last a long time. Um, these are kind of cameras that you, you really don't want to use them constantly. You want to do like three to five minute recordings at a time, and then um, and then start a new recording because so because these cameras um I don't know they're just it's just better that way. So see you got this right here. I always find it better that way when I record a couple minutes at a time. You see the Action 3 is just, uh, the screen isn't as sensitive as the Action 4, that's interesting. Okay, so you guys can see, we got the wall over here. It's got a nice drawing where people looking up. Uh, I think they're looking for ET. And um, you can see the, the quality difference, you know, the brightness. Now, with the Action 3, the settings are a little bit more aggressive than Action 4. It's just for the simple fact that I'm trying to grab as much light as possible with the Action 3 to kind of make up or catch up or keep up with the Action 4. And then there's that little uh, Happy Campo is what it's called, and they got that little camper to the side. Really, really cool looking place. So, um, you guys down here in the Denver area, it's not in the down, down, downtown, downtown area, but it's a little bit north of the downtown. So, across the river, um, you guys can find this Happy Campo. So if you're not sure where it is, then go on ahead and uh, look for it on Google. I'll actually put it on Google Maps so you guys can see it. Uh, they got security because uh, probably it's crazy out here. <laughs> so anyways, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to do a Nami acceleration test for you guys. Got it in X mode. Is the Action 3 really that bad though? Like, it's not as bright as the 4, but is it bad? I personally don't think so, but you know, what do you think?
wait a minute. <clears throat> For some very unusual reason, the Action 3's audio output was way lower. As you guys can hear in the video, the Action 3, you wouldn't hear my audio in the Action 3 if I didn't crank all of the audio setups here in post. I cranked everything up. So I don't know why it was so low because they're always set for the same settings, but yeah. Okay, so in this clip, you guys can see this is the Action 3. Um, very, very, very dark street. There's almost little to no street lights, little to no uh, lights coming from the houses in the neighborhood. And this is basically how it looks. Um, so, you know, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Let's, let's hear what you got. You know, this is the Action 3, and we're gonna switch over to the Action 4 here in a second. Headsets, I will have the action camera at minus four and the DJI Rode Wireless Go at minus 24 decibels. And that seems to give me a good balance. And like I said, if, if you're doing a lot of low speed riding, you could probably get away with minus 18 on the Rode microphones. So, without further ado, guys, let's get you guys back to the studio and let's finish this video off. All right, so what do you guys think? Um, I said this in the video with the Action 10, the, D the Hero 10 versus the, I said the Action 10. I said this also in the video that I did with the Hero 10 versus the Action 4 and the low light footage. Try not to get too caught up on the output, the brightness, okay? If it's very important for you, then okay, focus on that a little bit more. You, If I never showed you guys the Action 4, right if, let's just say the action 4 didn't exist and i did the hero 10 and the action 3 and maybe let's say an insta 360 x3 um you guys wouldn't even be thinking about an action 4 you know just think about whichever camera at that moment if i was to do those tests only the one with the brightest output is the one that you guys are probably be likely to go try and find and get right so um, that's not always the most important thing. Some of you guys might not even be recording in low light like that. Like that might not even be a thing that you do. And if it's, if you're gonna record in low light, you probably might be better off using your cell phone, depending on the type of phone you have. So don't try not to get too caught up in it. But I had I did want to show you guys how it looks, so you guys can like if that is important for you, you can see how they perform. Okay, and I got the settings. Like I said, we we showed you guys the settings that I had on each camera, and um. I always have a good time making these videos all right so if you guys have any video ideas let me know in the comments below uh, i got the links to my boy paul he's he's down there in the comments below if you guys are interested in buying a segway i still ride my segway uh i have an affiliate link down below so i get a small commission on any sales on that that's also a really good device to have i mean i use it around town you can use it to mow your grass if you have a push mower uh they're just useful. You ride, you have both hands free. You can go to the grocery store, put it in the shopping cart at the grocery store on the very bottom or inside the cart. I don't know how much groceries you buy when you buy groceries and um, use that to go home, carry your stuff home or push the shopping cart home and bring it back with the Segway. It's just a fun you know, utility vehicle to have. Um, but anyways, that's all I got, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below on the road to a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. I still got like 90 something mile people to go, um, but I don't want you to subscribe guys if, unless you want to be here. If you want to be here, then subscribe, join the family, let me know how you feel and uh, what videos you guys want to see next. All right. So uh, without further ado, Jay on the Segway, I'm out of here. Let me go edit these videos. Peace. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>